Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at lead code problem and the problem's name is greatest common divisor of strings. So in this question, we are given two strings S and T and we can say that T divides S if and only if S is made up of multiple concatenations of T. So according to the question, we are given two strings str1 and str2 and we have to return the largest string X such that X divides both str1 and str2. So what is the common string among both the strings which divides them equally so that you can form the greatest common divisor of that string. So let's take the example one here. We are given string one as ABC ABC and string two as ABC. And here you can see string one will be made up of multiple ABCs which is string two. So this part is str2 and this part is again str2 and we reach the end of the string one and this part is str2 itself. So we can say that ABC is a common divisor of both str1 and str2 and in the second example you can see this is the greatest common divisor ab and this is also formed by three ab's so how are you able to solve these three examples and here you can see there is no common between both so you return an empty string as the output so according to the question you have to find the greatest common divisor of both the strings. So for any two numbers you have to find the greatest common divisor. So in this case the length of the string 1 is 6 and the length of string 2 is 3. So GCD of these two numbers 6 comma 3 is equal to 3. So you find a string of length 3. So you take the substring of the greater string. So you take the substring of length 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So you take the substring from 0 to 2 which is of length 3 so abc will be the output the length is 6 and the length is 4 gcd of 6 comma 4 is equal to 2 because 2 divides 2 is the greatest common divisor of 6 and 4 so you take substring of the first two characters so this will be of length 2 from string 1 so always remember str1 length is greater than str2 so take the substring from str1 only and this will give you AB of length 2. So AB is your output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. So here I have written a helper function to find the greatest common divisor. So here it will take two numbers of integer data type as parameters and you make a recursive call to the same function. So each time you pass the number 2 and the remainder of the 2 by using the modulus operator. So this helper function will give you the gcd and I am call, calling this helper function inside uh, the main function. So inside the main function I am finding out length 1, length of string 1 and length of string 2. So here I am doing a base check if when you combine both the strings and if they are not same you return an empty string like in example 3 here. Here if you combine lead and code. So here you can see lead code is not equal to code lead so you can never form a greatest common divisor. So in that case you return empty string as the output and in all other case both str1 plus str2 is equal to str2 plus str1. This condition will be skipped for the first two examples and I am calculating the result by finding the substring of str1 using the substring method which starting from 0 until the uh, length of the greatest common divisor which we are getting from this helper function here and finally we are returning the output which will give you the string by forming the substring. So the time complexity of this approach is O of 1 and the space complexity is also O of 1. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.